Hey Tommy, this is Ryan here at G4. Just gonna go over your WR with you here. Um, we looked into that coolant leak. As you could see, if you can see, turn that flash out. You can see it leaking right there. It's coming off of that that this pipe right here. You can see, as you can see, it's kind of all all rusted. So yeah, and then also there's an O-ring in that pipe where it goes into the head. There's an O-ring in there. So with that pipe being all rusted, that O-ring's probably just all worn out. So we'll go ahead and need to replace that O-ring, possibly replace that pipe to the way how it's so rusted. As far as your oil leak, there's oil caked all over this area of the motor here. Um, you got a few different seals here. You got a countershaft seal, which is right there. You also got a seal behind your sprocket. And you also got a seal on your sh behind your shift shaft here. And then there's also an O-ring that goes right here on your starter. I mean, any of those could be leaking if it starts leaking and then it'll just fling it around. We had it idling, didn't see it leaking, but once you start running it and the chain starts spraying, it could be leaking behind that sprocket and just kind of flinging it everywhere with the oil. So we go ahead and get your quote on replacing those seals. Um, as far as the speedo not working, it's so it runs off this magnet right here. Magnet has to be sensing off of this piece right here. As you can see, it's distance away this needs to be drilled down further here so then when the magnet crosses here that's what registers speed so like I said you can just kind of see their their offset so if, there's no way for it to register the speed with the way it's set there I was kind of looking over you already know you said your forks those are leaking um, we also noticed your rear shock is starting to leak it's kind of hard to tell because we did just wash it wash all the oil off but as there was a lot of oil coming down, you can see a little bit in there, the whole shaft was caked, so your rear shock is leaking, so we go ahead and get a quote on getting that rebuilt for you. Also, the, your intake, if you can see in here, see all those cracks in your intake boot? Those are starting to, a lot of those look like they're almost all the way through, as you can see all the way around all those cracks. And you can see here, there's some. Those are the ones like kind of up, up in that top area there, right up in here. As you can see, I'll show you again right there. Those are pretty deep. Also, there on that other side too. There. As you can see, they're on. It's a little harder to see on this side, but there is also a bunch of cracks on that side too. So we'll go ahead and get you a quote on getting that replaced, because that'll start causing air leak and start causing a running issue once they do get their way all the way through. Um, over here, it looks like there's your new um, voicing isn't leaking. There's no coolant there. Like I said, it was only right there. So we'll go ahead and get you a quote together on getting all this fixed, getting a new brake lever up on it, and we'll just send a quote over your way. Thanks. Have a good day.